a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small. We can sit together. Are we ready to go? It's so beautiful. You and me. We meant to be. Ready, guys? In the great outdoors. Are we flying? Forever free. Are we driving or walking? We are walking. We are driving. Take a step back and to see the truth around you from a distance. So we're out in the forest today and we're gonna do we're doing some activities. Um I don't usually plan activities but as they're getting older um, they're really quite interested in kind of following instructions um, so I'm starting to do more uh, alongside their kind of free play and open-ended play um, and child-led type stuff. I'm starting to plan some kind of loose activities when we're out and about um, just to kind of bring them more kind of connecting with nature to be honest which is what I love. So yeah we're in the forest today we're doing some activities and we're going to finish our trip with some marshmallows some toasting marshmallows I'm excited about that bit <laughs> any kind of food I get excited about it yeah finish the day with food and it's and it's a good way to to end the day so today's video is going to be all about activities in nature forest school style things that you can do out and about on walks in nature and activities that you can do right there when you're out so not just kind of bringing nature back home and then doing kind of invitations to play or that kind of stuff it's about staying in nature doing the activities just being together um, and more learning opportunities whilst you're out and about and kind of enjoying um, enjoying your walks and stuff like that so yeah a forest school type video um, to share lots of different nature activities with you lovely bark on the paper and you can see all these lines coming through on your paper which is really cool isn't it and then it will come on the quay so they're currently looking for ducks <laughs> behind me I bought some bed bread with me but they've decided that they quite like the look of it <laughs> more than more than the ducks so I think they might share a bit with the ducks if they show up but yeah Soon enough, it will all be eaten. <laughs> so we've got our glue, and we've got our paper. You've got to collect your leaves first. I got some leaves in my pocket. Yeah. Okay, cool. Right. I got some. You have. Okay, let's lay it down here, and we can stick our leaves to all the pieces of paper here. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time Perfect. Oh, that's lovely, Mia. Yeah, so you might need a bit more glue. Let's get your glue. Oh, it's very muddy, isn't it? Such a beautiful autumn day, isn't it? Yeah. Found a doggy print. Is it a doggy or a dinosaur? Dinosaur. 
dinosaur. A dinosaur. <laughs> I don't think so. Dinosaurs are extinct. But it is a little doggy print. You're right. The doggy. Yeah. What? So how do we do our campfire? So we kind of start like this, don't we? And then we kind of pile it on top like that. Okay. Now we need to pretend that we've got some marshmallows that we're roasting. Oh, lovely marshmallows. <laughs> Here we go. So we turn it nice and slowly like this. And then we get it nice. You can't actually see the flame, but it is there. It's warming it up, isn't it? Uh, mm. Oh, I want my one burnt too. Like it burnt. So I got this little kit off Amazon and it comes with the oil um, gel burner which is this one and then it comes with all these marshmallows as well and skewers. Obviously you can buy different marshmallows but it's really cool because you just need to bring some matches and light it and then as soon as you put the lid back on the flame goes out and you can put it straight back in your bag. It might be a little bit hot around the outside but I've got um, a little bag to put it in here so it keeps it kind of nice and safe. Mm. Yeah, this is kind of the safest way to do um, open fire or marshmallow type things with Daddy, children. Some help, Mum. Where's that going? So good. <laughs> so I haven't really dressed well today. I put on this um, kind of brown coat here, which is a charity shop bargain. I think I got it for like seven pound or something. And it's so, it looks almost brand new. I absolutely love these buttons on it. Mm. Let's see if I can show you a bit more what it looks like. Um, so yeah. But yeah, coming to the forest, it's so muddy. Yesterday it rained all day, so everything's really muddy. I haven't even got my wellies on. I don't know what I was thinking. And I'm sure my coat has mud on the back where I sat down. So yeah, kind of regretting my clothing choice today. You're stuck. Let me pull you out. Pull! And pull! Oh no, you're stuck again! Pull me! Pull! So, best part about coming back from the forest is this. Nice warm cup of coffee. Oh god, I love coffee. Um, there's nothing better when you've been out like in nature or just somewhere where it's kind of like windy or chilly or actually we had a lot of sun, but it was it was kind of autumnal today and you're all wrapped up and my nose is all red <laughs> and then you come back and have a nice warm cup of coffee. I absolutely love it. I'm a bit of a co coffee coffeeholic, is that a thing? Coffeeholic? It was a good day anyway today. Um, yesterday was not and I had a really tough day with the kids. Um, it was very emotional. You know when you have one of those days where the kids are just uh, fighting a lot and just generally not happy, not positive. Um, the play's not going so well. They're just kind of stressed and a bit fed up. Um, and it, yeah, it got to the end of the day and ugh, just wasn't feeling good. I was pretty much at the end of my tether. And bedtime didn't go very well either um, and she wasn't asleep by like quarter past half past nine and I was just uh, I was like you just go to sleep you know you get to the point where you're like I've got a lot to do I am um, I can't believe I'm starting my evening at half past nine like I've got things to do like as a mum the list is endless isn't it and things that you want to get on with and I didn't have time for any of it and I was just getting fed up. I was like, oh, I just wanna get on with the things and just get things off my mind and just, yeah, anyway, you probably know what it's like. But, um, so yeah, yesterday wasn't a good day and I wasn't in a very positive mindset. Um, 
and yeah we're all just super emotional and it, it just didn't go well <laughs> so i woke up this morning feeling a bit like there but i was determined to make the day more positive so i managed to turn it around in my mind and i was like let's do it i'm in control of me let's just be cool and be happy and not let things get on top of us because you know days like that just are no fun but yeah we had a fun day it always helps i think if we get out if we get out in the morning and it's a nice day, the sun's shining, you know, or it's just a nice day, then it always helps. It's a good way to start the day. Yeah, I always find if I get out and um, go for a walk or go to the forest or just get out with the children, it's start off with some fresh air and explore and just keep it super chilled. It helps with the mindset, it helps you, the rest of the day to go well. Kids need a lot of exercise as well. So if they kind of burn off their energy and run around and, you know, start the day off like that, um, I find the afternoons are a little bit more level. There's a lot more focus in their play, a little less craziness. So yeah, anyway, it was a better day today. I'm feeling a lot more positive and we had a lot of fun. So that is the main thing. So yeah, anyway, I hope your activities were helpful. Um, I know I've had a few mums message me about lots of nature activities. I've got a lot of... Um, mums who watch who love to be out in nature going on walks and looking for things to do whilst you're out so hopefully that's kind of answered your question um and given you a few things to do uh, and yeah again thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel and i'll see you in the next video Bye.